Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 8 for a step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video first. You can find the link in the description block. So today we are going to add bootstrap to our uh, application. So bootstrap help us to uh, make a professional look for our application. So let's start. So to add the bootstrap first, uh, visit this url i can add this in the description block and uh, after that as we are we can see like uh, we are on angular 9 so we will have that 6.x uh, that bootstrap person and 4.4.1 uh, bootstrap css and uh, as we are using angular cli so installation is very easy just copy this command and we need to paste this in the terminal so i am going to copy this and, and i am pasting it in the our application terminal and enter so now we have successfully installed our the bootstrap for our angular application so now i'll quickly verify this so to verify uh, i am going to open my angular.json file and uh, here we have this styles and uh, scripts block so in the uh, styles i can see bootstrap minified version it's added by this uh, we don't need to add this uh, when we are using this command it's getting added automatically and let's see if we have that uh, bootstrap module in our app module or not so i am going to open my app module and uh, let's see in the import I am having this ngb module so this is a core bootstrap module it's getting imported automatically when we are using this command and one more css i am going to add to our application for adding uh, icons so this is a very good uh, site font awesome you can visit this site and you can find the link in the description block and you can add uh, icons as per your requirement you can search here and we have many icons available on this site so uh, i'm going to add the css so so let's copy this command npm install save font awesome and paste it in our terminal so this is our visual code terminal and i'm testing it here and i'm pressing enter key so now our package installation is successful so i'm going to open angular.json file and i'm going to add the css here So now we have added both the packages to our application. So now I'm going to uh, modify our login component close to our mockup. So let's open login component. And I'm going to add some basic HTML. I will share this HTML in the description block. So don't worry at this time. So this is a very basic HTML close to our mockup design and uh, we added uh, this login email and uh, password text box here so now let's open our uh, login component.cs file and, and i am adding this some common css here uh, you can find this too in the description block and now let's save this and uh, let's run our application first ng serve and enter oh so i'm getting some error so the error is like uh, module not found so uh, yeah so we made some mistake uh, in the path so i'm going to open angular.json file and let's fix this path and save this and uh, i'm going to stop this execution so control plus c 
and I'm going to run it again. So now I should get success for this. Let's wait. Yeah, so now it's compiled successfully. So I'm going to open our application, control and then click on this link. And wow, our login component is looking good. But this too is not looking good header for all pages and common footer for all pages. So let's make some changes here also. To changing our common header and uh, footer, I should open appcomponent.html. So let's go to that and yeah. So this is our code and I'm going to add some HTML here and uh, you will get this in the description. So now just replace this with this content. So very basic HTML tag here and uh, let's open app component.css file and I am going to add some CSS. So I'm going to this add this CSS. And our changes compiled successfully. So let's visit the browser. Yeah, so now it's looking good. And uh, let's modify our register page. Currently, it's looking like this register works. So we have to add controls to our register. So now I'm, now I'm adding a HTML for our register component and save this and uh, open register component.css and I'm going to add this CSS. So now it's compiled successfully. So let's run our browser. So this is our login and now let's visit register. So yeah, register is looking good now. Uh, now I am going to modify our this uh, main uh, dashboard page and this links which we are having in the home component that common layout for all these three. So let's first modify this home component. So let's open home component. It should be in the root. So yeah, it's here. And I am going to change this link and I am going to add it. Okay, and uh, now I am going to change this CSS. So let's delete this and paste it here and save it. So let's wait for the compile. Yeah, it's compiled successfully. So open a browser and yeah. So now we can see dashboard, to do and our logout. And even we are highlighting this dashboard selected link with the light blue color. So now in the last we need to modify our dashboard and to do component HTML and CSS. So let's open dashboard component and uh, I am changing it with this. So this is a links and this is a bootstrap type set control. I'm using it here for uh, all items upcoming and completed items filter on our dashboard. So let's quickly add a CSS for our dashboard component. So save it and now I'm going to modify our to do component and let's add this HTML and save it. So last uh, I need to add some global styles. So let's open our style.css and, and add this CSS. So here what I did is I changed the floor to left to right because we are having tabs at right side in our mockup. So now let's see the changes. So open the browser 
yeah so now we are having a header for our to do we have our dashboard but in the dashboard we should have tabs at the right side but uh, it's not visible so uh, any idea why it is not visible i know the reason because let's open our visible code and i think i scrolled up uh, that terminal window so let's scroll down so we can see this error that ngb that uh, tab said is not known element so why it is not known element because our dashboard mod uh, component is a part of dashboard module and uh, while we added uh, bootstrap so we added this ngb module in our app module but it is not a part of our dashboard module so to resolve this we need to add this module to our dashboard module so now we are keeping in in the dashboard module but uh, best practice is this uh, that common thing we can keep in the shared module and then we can import that shared module to our feature module so like uh, similar to this we have one more component which we are going to import in many other modules so best thing is that uh, instead of importing all that keep all that in the one shared module and import that shared module to your feature module but for now let's add this bootstrap module and uh, let's say the dependency uh, that packages and uh, save this so now let's scroll down and see now it's compiled successfully so let's verify our changes in the browser yeah so now i can see at the right side our tabs that bootstrap ng tabs and if i'm clicking all type all items is coming upcoming and completed so so i think i'm done with the basic design uh, these are the some interview questions uh, which we may get asked in the interview like uh, what is a uh, responsive design so you can answer that like uh, in the responsive design web pages render well on the variety of devices like uh, laptop or mobile phone so it should uh, render perfectly on the device size according to the device size and uh, we see uh, like how we can add the bootstrap to our angular project so you know the command and uh, you know the process uh, and uh, uh, you may get a question like what are the some common bootstrap components you have used in your angular project so currently we used uh, the tap set and in the upcoming videos we are going to add some more bootstrap component so you can give an example of that so yeah that's all for this video in the next video we are going to study about template driven form and uh, we will uh, create our registration form thank you for watching have a good day